Shifa Mochir and welcome back to my channel Sassy Shiftsies and today's look is all about the it looks that I'm trying to recreate from the very famous New York Fashion Week. I mean Maybelline um, has been associated with them for the longest time now and I'm trying to use the matte products to get a look that is as close to the it looks that we saw on the runway. I can't wait to jump in and show it to you. Before that, um, I'll just tell you what is happening on my face right now. Uh, I have uh, prepared my face using the Fit Me Range Maybelline Foundation uh, in my uh, skin tone. I have used the Maybelline Super Fresh White Super Fresh Compact Powder and I have used the Color Bloom Maybelline Lip Balm in the peachy shade and a lip liner. Um, I, I have tried to keep it very neutral and nothing else so uh, and I've just done my brows so let us quickly jump right into it and get to business and show you how exactly to achieve the matte it looks from the New York Fashion Week. I'll be focusing on two products to achieve the it looks from the New York Fashion Week. Um, one is this really cool Neon Pink Vivid to Matte Lipstick. This is the shade. I will do swatches and show it to you. And the second product that I have with me is the Hyper Matte Liquid Liner Eyeliner by Maybelline. Uh, it's super matte and easy to apply and I'm in love with this product. Trust me. Um, so let us quickly start by preparing my eyes. I'm going to use the Nude's Maybelline New York Eye Palette. So let's start with recreating the it look. Starting with the same colored neon pink eyeshadow. Repeating the same on the other eye. I've just applied a white base before starting it, and of course, I have the base of my compact on it. And then I've taken the same colored eyeshadow, the neon pink eyeshadow, which is very close to the lipstick. Make sure to cut the crease with the same color and take it slightly, take the eyeshadow slightly, lining the crease of your eye. The excess fallout. I'm just going to take my white super fresh Maybelline compact, clear it. Next, I'm going to take the Hyper Matte Liquid Liner and use it as the outline. Before that, let's dip a little bit because the look is a little dewy. I'm going to dip. a very light golden shade eyeshadow and I'm going to just run it through the creases because it is a dewy look little dreamy that's why otherwise if you want your girls can just let this be but I'm dipping it into a slightly olive greenish goldenish uh, eyeshadow from the nudes palette and uh, I'm running it along the lines where the eyeshadow ends, the pink eyeshadow, just about my crease. So now the eyeshadow is done. Let's start with the Hyper Matte Liquid Liner. It already comes with a super thin applicator and make sure to keep it when you're using your liner to run very close from your lash line and do not use it in a very thickening uh, manner or thickening format. Make sure that you give a really super easy um, gliding through very thin liner as light. Keep it as light as you can to achieve this look. So let's start. So this is how thin it's supposed to be. It's supposed to look very natural, very easy, really do we add little um, lesser drama this time but trust me your eyes are going to pop out because of the neon bright color so this is how neat your liner should be and just keep running your applicator brush through as close by as you can through your lash lines and trust me you'll get that perfect symmetrical eyeliner finish Just 
make sure both sides have equal proportions of the line up. Was the hypermatic liquid liner it dries up super quickly? Don't worry about the fallout. What I'm going to do is take the white color from my eyeshadow nail palette or the silver, which you prefer. Brighten up your eyes instantly. Yeah. And add the natural dewy look. Yeah. Now I'm gonna use the Colossal Volume Express Waterproof Mascara by Maybelline. Finish my eyes. So many of you all know that uh, I don't prefer curling my lashes and uh, it's very rare that I do so luckily I have this natural curl going on with me for me so it works what do you all think make sure to keep it minimal and very natural looking the trick here is to Get an even finish so that even though you have a volume express in your lashes, it doesn't look like you're, you have applied too many layers. I'll repeat the same on my other lashes. Now we are done with the eyes. You see, um, right from the mascara to the liner. Um, to the neon finished eye and cutting the crease with a really uh, ash gold, olive gold, uh, light palette eyeshadow. I've cut the crease with it to give a more dewy look. Um, I have brightened out the corner of my eyes using the uh, silver uh, mixed with the white from the neon eyeshadow palette of Maybelline. And now I'm going to use a uh, cheeky glow blush by Maybelline again. Maybe in new vivid to neon pink matte lipstick. I like to apply it first. I've I've used Maybelline's Color Bloom um, lip balm, and that's about it. I like to directly apply the lipstick first, and then straighten out the edges with the lip liner. One thing I really like about the matte, um, red matte lipstick is the shape. It's got like a smooth little curve rather than a slanting straight edge and it's so easy to apply, it just glides right onto your lips. I'm going to use a liner, lip liner brush and straighten out the edge. There you go. If you want, those of you who love the glow, just like me, can add a little bit of teeny mini glow. So let's do that. I mean, it's dewy. This look is dreamy. So hey, a little bit of glow won't hurt anyone, right? So let's get to it. 
a little bit like teeny mini glow a dash of glow that I'm adding right where my cheek So ta da this is the final look that I created. It was so easy, so breezy and um, you can do it for yourself um, very quickly in a jiffy as I just showed you right here. I'll just quickly take you through all the products that I used. Um, I start my face uh, by using a foundation of Off The Fit Range by Maybelline. Um, I apply on top of it the White Super Fresh Compact by Maybelline again. Uh, for my eyes, I use Nude Maybelline uh, New York Palette. And um, for my lips, I use the Color Bloom uh, Lip Balm. Um, and I finished my eyes with the Maybelline New Hyper Hi Matte Liquid Liner and Colossal Mascara. For the eyeshadow, I have used the the Neon Tinge um, from another, not from the Neon, from another uh, palette by Maybelline's eyeshadow, and I have used for my crease the gray mixed with olive green and uh, gold by a Maybelline uh, nude palette, and uh, for my lips, I used the newest one, the Maybelline New York's uh, Vivid 2 Neon Pink Lipstick shade. I'll show you guys the swatches and I'll show you a, a close up it so that you guys know. What I'm talking about, I uh, added a dash of peachy pink to my face, to my cheeks uh, from the Maybelline Cheeky Glow. I'm in love with this shade. I've eaten this one up. I mean, it's amazing. Um, so you need to take care of three things while, um, uh, you know, trying to create the itch look by New York um, Fashion Week that is doing the rounds um, and Maybelline has been a part of it the longest now. Three things that you need to remember. Keep your liner as close to your um, lash line and don't go over dramatic with it. Um, keep your lashes really uh, clean, give it like a very complete um, finish but don't overdo it with the uh, mascara so that uh, you give a very natural yet clean look to your lashes. It, they look full but at the same time they look natural. Don't forget to highlight the under the, uh, the corner of your eyes with a bright white or a silver palette eyeshadow. Um, I like the white that's there, a white and silver that's there in the Nudes palette by uh, Maybelline. You can use that to highlight the corner of the eye so your eyes pop out and uh, you look really dewy. It gives you a dreamy look and don't forget to um, use a lip balm first and then apply this matte lipstick by Maybelline. The new one, the new one pink, it looks absolutely amazing and dewy. So there you go, let me know what you think about this look.